What is up guys, my name is Piran, or welcome to the 29th episode of my Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon walkthrough. We're currently in the post-game, I'm joined by Birdkeeper Toby. Hey Pokemon Masters! In the last episode, we completed the Ultra Beast mission that required you to capture Buswall twice in Pokemon Sun. In Pokemon Moon, it's a little bit different, you have to capture for, what's its name? Pheromoses? Yeah, something like that, something like that. In this episode, we are going to do the third Ultra Beast mission. We are currently here on Akala Island on Route 8. We have to go back to this motel. Here we are. Let's do it. Oh, here you are at last. And ooh, here's a familiar character, Mina, that we encountered on the Pony oh, I Canyon really Trail. I like Mina. She's becoming one of my new favorite characters. Yeah, she's, she's interesting. In so let's let's read the text first. I'll give you my thoughts yeah, on yeah. her in just a second. I've already been able to go on a. Uh, gather all of the intel we need about the Alter Beast this time. So this chief has already left to help secure the site and protect the surrounding areas. Number three, Lightning. 100 KR. Okay, third mission. Let's do this. Um, hello. This precious young lady here was my informant this time. Interesting, interesting. They sent me here on errands since I'm not busy doing trials or anything. Hmm, who is that? It's a secret. Oh, and I had one more order I was given. Or, what's it a request? Either way, what might that be? I was told I should have a real serious battle with P. Winnell before I come back. I don't really know why, but it seems like maybe it's some sort of trial of strength. Okie dokie, so she was once a trial captain, or she is currently a trial captain? I'm a little bit confused about the whole deal. Yeah, yeah, time for me to show you her full power. We'll get our Z on. Yeah, our Zeon. Okay, then. Interesting, 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 interesting. So, Mina, let's do this. Uh, this is only, like, the second time we've faced a trial captain, right? Like, we've only seen that, that battle back then twice. But anyway, we have to take on a Klefki at first. Interesting. So, I am going to use a couple of X items just because we are a little bit underleveled. By a little bit, I mean. She is the, uh, I guess, fairy type. Uh, person? For trial, trial captain, captain yeah. Um, Tell us a bit more about Mina then. What makes you like her so much? I like her character design in general, which yes. isn't something I normally get excited about, character designs, but yeah. I love that her hair is kind of like it's been dipped in paint, and then the shirt, and her shoes, yeah. and she's dressed how I like dressing. <laughs> I think that's <laughs> the sad truth of it. Um, but, like, yeah, I just like... I don't know. I like this yeah. character. I'm working... I need to see what she's like as a character throughout the course of this episode I then. And Dazzling Gleam is not going to do much. I tend to find that I like Pokemon or I like characters as I'm working on theories on them. Yes. And as I'm currently investigating into this character, Mina, uh, and theories surrounding her uh, and her relationship to, to other characters in, in the world of Pokemon Sun and Moon. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I'm just finding she's a very likable character. I also nice. like her team of Pokemon. Nice, like nice. Okay, I'm interested to see our team. So right now we are currently struggling against this Klefki. I think we just missed our last, um, what do we call it? Our last uh, Zen head, but we fortunately managed uh, to hit it then. So we're just going to sun still strike and hopefully as long as she's got like fairy types on her team that yeah. don't resist sun still strike, we should be okay against the rest of her team. Uh, I used an X attack at the beginning of the battle, as I've already said, just so we could ensure one hit KOs. That is a KO right there. Klefki, probably the toughest Pokemon on the team, at least for me. I maybe could have led with Salazzle or something, but we we haven't really been used. Oh, she's got a Reflector. That's what she... Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. That explains a lot. Okay, we're going to be all right for the rest of this battle then. I didn't see her first turn. So but... this is just a small thing, and I imagine you'll do a video on this later on, on yes. how to get Bottle Cats. Yes. Which are to do with uh, hyper training. Hyper training. Um, Mina is a character who I know she'll give you at least one bottle cap. I don't know if it's a daily thing. Yes. But she gives you regular bottle caps or a, a bottle cap at least um, when you rebattle her after this. Okay. Okay, that's interesting. I'm um I'm looking forward to like learn more about the mechanics of hyper training because I feel like it's going to be a feature that. Oh, it's game-changing, especially in competitive play. It means that we don't have to rely on breeding so much, though I still think breeding is going to be something that's really big in the game yeah. because you can't rely on hyper-training, I presume. You only get a certain amount of bottle caps per day. But uh, three more Pokemon. We only have two Sun Steel Strike PP right now, but we should be all right because Salgaleo is an absolute beast. Of course it is. It's a legendary Pokemon. Uh, next Pokemon is Rebombe. You know what? I think I'm just going to Zen head, but this just—it's uh, pop bug type, actually, isn't it? Yeah. Is it? Is it pop bug? Pop bug. Ah. Bug, fa bug fairy. 
Oh, I'll send stuff to it. Because. Destroy! Pollen Puff, Puff it's faster than us. Is this gonna, like, paralyze us or something? Pollen you know? Puff is a powerful move. How much base power do you know? I don't know. You I don't just know. know. It's, it just, it's just power. It just hurts. It hits me. And it Did hurts. a lot of damage on Sargaleo there, so it must hurt. So that is going to be a one hit KO. <laughs> so some people complain that, oh my god, you're so underleveled. Man up. Stop being a coward. Take on every... I've actually got comments like that. Really? Yeah, you're such a coward for not taking on every... That's... Like We're trying me. to get a let's play out to you, people. Yeah, <laughs> and sometimes I get comments saying, oh my god, why aren't you, like, well, well, it's so easy for you. Why do you keep using X items? It's like, well, I can't make anyone happy, can I? It's okay. As long as <laughs> Thanks, you make man. you happy, that's the main thing. I can't even do that, man. <laughs> can't even do that. So anyway, we defeat Mina. Uh, Primarina gets to level 57, Executor gets to level 51, awesome. I feel like we've just been abusing Sargaleo recently. I do like her backpack, that's, that's, that's cool detail, cool detail. Yeah. I like it, so anyway. I've always wondered what the little note on her back says. Oh, in the Pokemon passes. language. Yeah. Whoa, you're surprisingly strong, then it's no problem, turns out you're strong enough. Heck yes we are, Pity Weno. That's my name, that's my name. It seems that my precious young miss here is not to be trifled with either. Okay, I'm, I'm out of here. She's sassy. She's sassy. She got that sass? <laughs> She's rather odd, isn't she? A real individual spirit. Okay, look a bit. Now we should get our heads on straight and get to work. I do not like it, but I am in charge of backup once again. And for you, Pity Will, the beast balls you will need for this mission. Ten more beast balls. You know, I hope the beast balls, you know, if you like breed a Pokemon, they inherit the Pokeball yeah. of a previous red Pokemon. I, I hope we can you... feed them on. I don't know if you can breed a... Uh... No, 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 not Ultra Beast, Ultra Beast, but I want to capture... I like, don't think you can capture other Pokemon with them. You can, it just has a uh, decreased capture rate, right, like okay. the, the capture rate of a Pokeball or something. So I hope I can feed it onto like a Cyndaquil or something, that'd be really cool. That'd be very cool. Yeah, first, the regular re reports, let's get them out of the way. My young friend, Madam Wick, finished analysing all of the data that we gathered on the last Ultra Beast you caught. If you wish to learn more about the creature, you should speak with Madam Wick in the Ether Paradise Secret Labs. And now it is time we get to work. If you need to ask me anything, I am here. Awesome, looker. Um, we need to know the location of the Pokemon. That'd be really helpful if you could at least tell us that. Tell me, tell about, me about the Ultra Beast. <laughs> Lightning, yes, I can tell you about it. Because the Ultra Beast can wield tremendous electric power, as its name implies. Sightings were made in two locations. So, Lush Jungle and Memorial Hill. We will head to Lush Jungle. Yes. Uh, so, you can capture both of the... You can capture the... both in... You don't... Some people make the mistake of thinking that they need to go to each of yeah, the Yeah, so that's the mistake I made but in the even first if you kill one or two episode. or five in one location, there will always be more of that Ultra Beast in the location. Okay. So I... you, will, you will catch them both in the Lush Jungle now. I made that mistake in the uh, first Ultra Beast episode, uh, capturing Ultra Beast 01, yeah. Nihilego. So and the great, thing about, the great thing about this mission is it's literally right next to where you're right, standing. Yeah, right next to Lush Jungle. Yeah. I was just thinking that right on Route 8, so that's fantastic. So, we're going to heal up our Pokemon, Sogaleo. Thank you very much. It's a Unfortunately, we don't have any uh, ground-type Pokemon because they would resist. Other way. Ew, uh, you're right. You're yeah. right. Oh, oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was going the right. Oh, we almost uh, took her on if she was even a trainer. Okay, so Route Five, and this is the, the Lush Jungle. Jungle, the location of the fourth trial, the third trial on the Lakala Islands. And so you just run into the grass. Let's do it. Also, That's any of you grass. who are interested in the version-exclusive Pokemon. Yes. Uh, fun fact, this jungle is where you can catch e capture either Persimmon. This is an Ultra Beast. Uh, isn't it? No. Yeah, it's a Bonsly. It's a Bonsly. Yeah, you can encounter normal Pokemon as well. Oh, okay. Um, That's what confused me in the 27th right, episode okay. as well. That's why I was like, oh, did we just KO near Lego? Do we now need to go to nah, Diglett's nah. Cave? So I yeah, um, now you can capture... Uh, you can capture Persimmon in Pokemon Sun yes. uh, in this jungle, and Oranguru in Pokemon Moon in this jungle. Nice, nice. This is the location you get that version exclusive. Does it have to be a specific piece of grass, or is it no, just... No, 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 I don't think just so. Just getting desperately unlucky with encounters compared yeah. to the last episode, then, I guess. That's a bit of a shame, but no worries, no worries. Let's just carry on trying to encounter. That's not it, either. Yeah, well, there you go. The look of the troll, I guess. <laughs> Ah, oh, this is unfortunate. Please forgive us, guys, while we uh, have these brief issues with encountering an Ultra Beast in the wild. This will happen sometimes, though. I had this happen a few times. Did, in my, okay, in my then. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, normally, I'd cut these out. That's another wild Pokemon. 
That's interesting. I'm going to go into a different piece of grass. It would be great if we could encounter a shiny Pokemon here. That would make things very interesting, but that's mm. not going to happen because we don't have all the luck. Liam and Lucy, the uh, the two other members of the Elite Four, both captured shiny Pokemon just out in the wild, just randomly. Yeah, uh, oh. Liam caught... Um... He caught a uh, mill tank and then also a rock ruff yes. while chaining. Uh, Lucy caught a Pichu. Yes. You've caught while chaining a Salami. I have caught one while chaining. So I feel I'm due one. Yeah. I feel I'm due I worked one. for mine. Lucy and Liam didn't really work for those. They just <laughs> True, stumbled they upon those. Oh, Liam did Isn't get it. Isn't that the work. best feeling though? When you oh my god. Shiny. That's what I want. That's what I, I haven't want. had that since generation five. Really? Yeah. That was the last time I had, had it with the Trubbish. I had quite a few random encounter um, a shiny Pokemon in Generation 6, it was. Like, right. during Horde training. Really? Yeah, well, I got very lucky. I, uh, um, I, I, I did hatch one. Yes. Uh, which was Froakie. Um, nice. And that was unintentional. Really? Uh, I got an intentional Mudkip after many, many times hatching eggs. Um... This is another yeah. wild Pokemon. Why are we getting so lucky? This Do we... just happens. This just happens. This is part of it. Okay. In fact, I would say you got very lucky the first time. Really? Yeah. Okay. It does take a small while. That's part of uh, part of finding the Ultra Beast is locating it. I didn't realize. I'd say jump through the, jump through different patches of grass just in case, but I'm pretty sure that's not yeah. how it works. Um, Let's just uh, explore. I I was thinking you might have went to a different to the location of the the first place that he told you to go. I was thinking maybe you did that in your playthrough. No, I went, I went I came to the Lost Jungle. Okay um, then. And you captured both of them here yep. in the Lush Jungle. Yep, yep. Okay, this is just being very frustrating. Maybe I can edit out this portion of uh, the video in the YouTube video editor when we upload it, but we'll see. Another wild Pokemon. That's very frustrating. Like I say, we could be here for 20 minutes. <laughs> could we? Might be worth editing it out. Okay. Ah, this is, uh, this isn't... Very fun right now. Yeah, Come on. Just, is that being edited out then? Everything yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll probably edit it. Yeah, no, this doesn't happen. It might take 30, 40 times. Okie dokie. Wow. Who knows? <laughs> yeah. This is a, it's quite annoying, Um, but we will keep this in. But like, we'll carry on talking and just trying to entertain you guys. Uh, for those of you who are hardcore enough to watch this video, because the YouTube editor takes up quite a lot. Oh, well, that's true. Just, maybe... That's true. We should be on entertaining at the moment, I suppose. Yeah. Or... Oh, here we go. Here's the first one, hey, actually. Here's the, the first, first one. one. Okay. Okay, so here we go. And I'd say stick to that patch of grass just yeah. in case. But... So you guys might have, like, we might have just skipped ahead, skipped, uh, skipped all the conversation we were We're having. not quite sure how it's going to happen, but yeah, we how... finally encountered it. It only took, you know, five minutes, but yeah. we haven't finally encountered the first one. Here we two. go. Let's just make sure we don't KO it now. Uh, Zen Headbutt. So my understanding is it's electric type at least. Electric I don't know about type. other typings. Yeah. Um, Ooh, okay. That seemed like a good amount of damage. Yeah, I don't want to risk You it. don't want to risk a second one. No, I, w I could crunch it, especially if it's just electric type, but... I'm pretty sure it's just electric type, yeah. Okay. So anyway, we are here in the Lush Jungle. You can remain in the Lush, in the Lush Jungle to capture both of these rather than going to both locations. We get the first one right there. That is absolutely fantastic. Um, we'll have another encounter and then we'll just skip ahead to when we actually encounter the second one and everyone wants to learn flare blitz oh that's huge we will get rid of cosmic power for that because cosmic power is really helpful but i just feel in the in the main story i'd rather have yeah uh offense because uh yeah gengar level 53 fantastic so onwards to the second one let's see what it says in the pokedex entry first though uh really cool uh zerky tree Z circuitry that's such a clever name Oh, I didn't realize that. <laughs> I'm quite good at figuring out these uh, these these names right now. One of the mysterious life forms known as Ultra Beast, astonishing electric shocks emanate from its entire body, according to witnesses. And yeah, pure electric. Yeah, really cool. Uh, no nickname. Uh, center box. Okay, so let's try to find the second one. Uh, one more Ultra Beast to catch. Is it in this patch of grass? It is not. But we will still carry on trying to look for it. 
This is very, very frustrating. You'd think that with these, you know, terrifying supposed creatures around, yeah. the uh, other remaining wild Pokemon would flee. You, you'd so you'd think, think like, like, what the heck is that other worldy looking thing? But no, they stick around because why not? And it's another wild Pokemon. <laughs> oh, Marelo. Gosh darn it. Let's find another Zerka tree. I love that name, though. It's Very good. clever. It's good. I love the names like Buzz Swole. It was Buzz like an insect and Swole. That word that you think is real. It's, it is. <laughs> yeah, it's, I'm sure it is. That's to what... get Swole. To get Swole. No, never heard it in my whole life. Oh, this that's weird. But anyway, this I is this is the Ultra Beast. Hey! <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> the 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 banter of Birdkeeper Toby and Pee Winnow in between finding the Ultra Beast. You guys might not have heard it. Do you it, think there's a Christmas go. lights on it? And those Christmas lights could be a very Christmas. I mean, it is November. Like maybe maybe this is the Christmas Pokemon in in the other dimension. Other, other dimension. Who knows? Maybe they maybe they probably don't even celebrate Christmas in the other dimension, right? That'd be. That would be weird. That would be, uh... Well, not, not weird, but, you know, there might not be a Christ in the other dimension. I don't know what I'm talking about, but this Ultra Beast... Oh, I was having to capture it without weakening it. That's unfortunate. Electric Terrain. That, is, that looks so weird. Mm. It's a very strange-looking Pokemon. We are going to Zen Headbutt it, though, and hopefully we can capture it on the next time, just like we captured the other one. Do, in... do, 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 do. So this one's got worse physical defense. Yes. But annihilated. Oh my life. Annihilated. I mean, you've got electric train up, but it has also just received a beast boost on special attack. That's true. That was probably a special move. So between everything, it's probably pretty boosted and ready for battle. That's pretty terrifying. Let's have a look at its stats right now. Yeah, plus three. Spe oh, that explains a lot. Let's be honest. That explains a lot. So could you use a master ball on one of these? Hyper I don't think you could. I, I don't think you can. I no, think I think only be the beast balls ball. work. Yeah. One. Two. No. Two. Two. Ah, oh, gosh darn it. This is probably going to KO even right you. Do you know a line of text I've never understood was, ah, uh, oh, it appeared to be caught. Yeah. What does like, that mean? Like. I know you can't catch a caught Pokemon, but if it's in the wild, then it definitely isn't caught. Why would you? It appeared to be caught because you threw a Pokeball at it, right? And it shook twice. It looked like it was going to remain captured, but... No, yeah. I don't get it. Ah. That doesn't make any sense to me. Um, Come on, please capture, because otherwise we're going to struggle. One, one two, two, three. three. Dong. It loved your singing, man. That's what I was trying to... Yeah, calm oh, down. Thanks, man. <laughs> <laughs> and we capture Zarka there you tree. have it. We, ha we have two Zarka trees now, which is fantastic. Uh, we will not give it a nickname, and we will send it to the box. So anyway, we are going to head back to that little... Uh, motel back on Route 8. We had a bit of trouble finding them. I feel like we just got very lucky in the way that we encountered the previous Ultra Beasts. But... From memory, I had oh, difficulty. You want to go left? Uh, from... <laughs> no, 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 no. Come back. Through the grass. Oh, of course. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. You got. Uh, I was a bit lost. From memory, I feel like I had some issues finding these guys. This one specifically. This one specifically. So... Um, whether we cut out the wild encounters in between actually encountering the Zerka trees or not, or Who not, knows? like we, it was an accurate representation if we don't cut it out. So just hopefully the video was entertaining for you guys. So here we go back to the motel. That is Ubi 03 mission complete. Hello, looker. What is it? Has something happened? Or do you need some information from me? I finished the mission. I did it. I did it. Amazing. Bravo. You've done it. You must call the chief back. If you offer to take us for a feast one more time, I swear we we know something else is going to happen. Just give it like, give it a good couple of episodes <laughs> before we go for our feast. Looker. What do you guys say? I finished sending the data from the UB protected to HQ and to Miss Wick as well. Thank you for your hard work, Peter Winnell. We should unravel the mysteries of Zerka Tree, also known as UB Lightning. Or Light... Lighting? Lightning? I don't know. Okay. Uh, are you alright, ma'am? Ah, yes, I'm fine, Mr. Looker. I've had a passing vertigo, but I'm fine. Please do not worry yourself. My missus, I insist on... Aww. You have always had the, same, had the stamina of a machamp. Uh, Chief, I cannot believe this is nothing. No, please, there's nothing so serious. I'm sorry for causing you to worry about my own sister. I really am fine. But all that aside, I must say that we have found a great ally in PD Winnell. Yeah, you have. Fantastic trainer. It's all I could simply keep that 
All I could do is simply keep that uh, Zerkachi away from the town. Ubi seems to get terribly aggressive when they spot me. It's like they are treating me as prey or an enemy. Oh, I'm sure it's only your imagination, Chief. You must be exhausted. So there we go. There we go. And it's Nanu again. It's Nanu. I let myself in. Mr. Nanu. What do you have to say? You, you've been keeping well? Y you are? Uh, it's 100kr. Or... Sorry, what, what is it now? Looker? Wait, so his name's? I'm okay. confused. I'm confused too. Yes, it is. What's this? No smile for me? Here I am, coming out of my way to bring you the info about the Ultra Beast you were searching for. Are you really? I want to see you calling Blade. It's on Ula Ula Island. I'll tell you more when you get there. And your information, is it all true? I'm the Kahuna of Ula Ula Island. If you don't do something about that monster for me, our guardian's not going to be happy. Thank you for the information, Mr. Nanu. So you're around then. So Ula Ula Island it is. We've got to go to in the next episode. Sweet. Um, Mr. Looker. Yes, yes, ma'am. Mr. Looker, do I take that you're acquainted with Mr. Nanu? I knew him once, I thought. Oh, you thought, wow, there's a bit of a uh, tension here, I believe. Never mind that. Right now, we need to focus on our mission. Of course, yes, of course, you're right. New UB, UB sighting, then our mission is our first priority. Ula Ula Island. New base and a motel. Which route? Route 13. That is where we're headed in the next episode. So, a like on this video would be really appreciated. Feel free to discuss this in my future Pokemon to the Moon walkthrough videos. I'm going to be doing, uh, covering all the Ultra Beasts, all the legendary Pokemon. And then we're going to be covering a lot of finer details. Locations of a bunch of stuff and how-to guides very soon. Subscribe to Toby as well. He's oh, been a tremendous so help. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Peace out.